Many are familiar with the stages of grief. Shock, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. This is usually in reference to an individual trying to confront an uncomfortable reality, be it a loss, a traumatic event, or an impending doom. The person will go on an emotional roller coaster, coming to grips with an unwanted change in their life. The case I'd like to make is that this happens on a wider scale, and that our culture, particularly artistic works, are reflective of the combination of various individuals going through the grief of society changing on a larger level. For one obvious example, something like the Cold War had an impact on the individuals who went on to create patriotic movies and form metal bands that had lyrics about the threat of nuclear destruction. This was an outlet for these people, dealing with a sort of grief. Furthermore, I can loosely capture each stage of grief within a decade. So, 70s is shock, 80s is denial, 90s is anger, early 2000s is bargaining, 10s is depression, and 20s is acceptance. Now, obviously the 20s still have yet to play out, but two things are for certain. First, things are already completely different than they were in the 10s. Second, Everything happening now will have a profound effect on the art of this decade. I'd also like to address that I know this may seem arbitrary, and perhaps even limited. Why does this only start in the 70s? And is this only applicable to the Western world? I start in the 70s as not only does it follow the 60s, where society rapidly changed, thus creating shock in people, but it was also the time when most of our modern cultural phenomenons began. Video games, heavy metal, and Star Wars all began in the 70s. It was very much a renaissance. I cannot think of a more perfect place to start. It is quite possible this stages of grief cycle has repeated throughout history. The fact that the 1930s was even called the Depression makes me think it very well could have been the Depression stage of the last cycle, but I think narrowing it down to the last half a century will suffice. As for this only being relevant to the West, I would say yes, but only in a tentative sense. While it is possible one part of the world could be in denial, while another is in the bargaining stage, the world has become globalized these past few decades, to the point that both Japan and America are on the same page, synchronized in their cycles, like women living together. <laughs> and on that note, hope you enjoy this upcoming series, Decade by Decade, The Stages of Cultural Grief. Ah!